Hey everyone, if you're new here, welcome. Today here on Master on Tech, we've got something extra special today coming in from Royal Kludge. They reached out and have sent over a keyboard to get my honest opinion on the RK96 keyboard. Now, this is from their RK Gaming Store website, not on Amazon. You can still find the same keyboard on Amazon, but this is their custom keyboard. This has special keycaps, special colors that you normally can't get. They have special switches, they're pre-lubed, and a whole lot of other things we'll go into later on in the video. But we're going to be checking that out here today. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It got some great stuff coming for how it all works and some great features that not a lot of keyboards typically have. But again, we'll get into that here shortly. So guys, sit back, relax, and let's head right on into it. And here it is, the Royal Kludge RK96. Really nice. Love the simplistic packaging that it comes with. And of course, we'll get into all the internals. But uh, here on the back, again, just super simplistic, showing you where the manufacturer is. Uh, of course, it's coming out of China, and it has everything for their website on the back, which is not much, but simple, but yet elegant. So let's go ahead and get into it. First impressions, opening it up, super clean, has a plastic top cover shell uh, to protect the keycaps. So you gotta love the extra step of the packaging that it comes with. You do have the keyboard here. It is wrapped in its plastic sleeve and it does have the manual right on top. Love it, you can't miss it. Right underneath, we can find the extra accessories, which this is going to be the wrist rest that it comes with, which is also magnetic. And then, of course, underneath it, we have the extra goodie bits. We have a goodie bag with some extra switches and a keycap puller and the switch puller along with the cable. And that's it. That's all you get. Of course, we'll start off with the mundane here. This is the USB cable, which, as I say mundane, it's really not. There's actually a special feature to it. So it is going to be a USB-C cable, just your standard uh, feel to it uh, the plastic but it does have a USB A to USB C adapter that goes on top uh, so that is nice so if you have a USB C port or a regular USB A you can use it now we do have the switches now these are their linear viridian switches uh, which you know of course once you start using fancy colors that means they're good uh, but in general you can hear the clicks here not too bad. Uh, again, they, they sound really dampened. They sound a little nice. Uh, these are pre-lubed, by the way. That's one of the biggest selling points about them is not only are they fancy, they're special, but they're also pre-lubed. Now I have a kind of run-of-the-mill keycap puller and switch puller. Uh, nothing too crazy there. And now we get to see the wrist rest. It's not padded. It is plastic. It is hard. Uh, but it does help elevate your wrists for longer typing sessions. And again, it's magnetic, so you can just pull it away if you don't want it at a specific time. So we'll get into it here. We do have the keyboard itself, and of course, that user manual. Now, if you guys have been here before, you know what I like about it. Now, if you're new here, it's a booklet. A very well put together booklet. I absolutely despise the roadmaps you have to unfold that's bigger than your desk to read the instructions in 16 languages. This is well illustrated. They have very great di diagrams for everything. They've got everything very cleanly laid out. It's showing the hotkeys, what all the function keys do. Uh, there, is, there are icons on the key caps that show you what they do, but again, they have everything illustrated here. And even the system requirements for each individual type of connection, which is wireless, Bluetooth and wired. So really not that bad. Do get an A plus plus one for me for the booklet. Now over the keyboard you can see uh, they are side printed for the extra keys and their functions. This is a 96% so you don't have all the extra ones like page up, page down, delete and all those things. So let's go in here just a little bit of how that's going to sound. Just a little bit of a teaser for what's coming later. We are going to check out 
a couple of these keycaps are going to come off. We're going to see the switches underneath. And we're also going to take a look at the injection molding for the keycaps themselves. I'm trying to use their keycap puller. Again, this is not anything super fancy, but it will get the job done. So underneath here, you can see these Viridian switches. They do look good. They feel good. Uh, the, you, I can definitely tell that they are lubed. I have plenty of keyboards that are not, and they are really convenient uh, to have as far as having a smoother experience. Now the keycaps, these are printed keycaps. They don't, they aren't cut out from the bottom. The LEDs do not come through the bottom. Uh, I personally wouldn't mind a set of keycaps that do that. Uh, I do prefer that in lower settings when you're a hermit. It does help out a little bit. And there you go. There's the wrist rest. It just slides right on. It just goes on there. It's really nice. We have some RGB in the background now. We're going to test these keycaps. I'll let you guys listen. And now we're going to pull out the sound meter. We're going to see just how loud each of these individuals are. Which, if you guys have seen some of my past videos, you can go check them out on the channel if you haven't. Uh, these is, this is not bad. Uh, the decibel level, even this close, is staying under 60 for the most part, which I've done some that are 60s and 70s for how clickety-clack they are when you're smashing the keys. Uh, so this is relatively quiet and definitely an enjoyable experience. I've been daily driving this for work for the last two weeks. And honestly, it's been fantastic on calls and being able to do things of that nature. Now, the weight is a separate piece. I do have the USB inside the keyboard just for the added weight. Once you add the wrist rest to it, it is over 1,000, almost 1,100 grams. It's hefty. It is. It is got some good weight to it. But here on the bottom, uh, we will see those switches which were in the manual. This will determine which mode you're in and on and off. So you do have Bluetooth and the 2.4 gigahertz wireless. And you do see some lights appearing on the keyboard, which is the P key. You can turn off the light a little bit to see this better. And so again, you can just quickly switch which mode you want. Uh, there are different profiles if you look at uh, the keys that are side printed, you will see one, two, and three for the Bluetooth profiles as well. And then lastly, let's go ahead and check out that software. This has honestly been some of the most ridiculous software I think I've seen in a budget-friendly keyboard. Now granted, this keyboard does run $99 on general, just out of the box, but they normally do run some promos for 20% off. 10% off, 15, you know, every holiday there's always a sale. But on here, you can remap, you can recustomize everything. You want a key to do something else? You want different functions? I mean, you have plenty of it. And overall, this is just an amazing amount that you could do with this keyboard. You can save it, you can edit it, everything you want to do. Then you have the macros here. You can set up any kind of macro you want. You can build it from scratch by typing and do your recordings here. And it has the built-in delay on what you've legitimately typed. If you want to make it as real as possible. You can save it. Uh, you can edit the times you want. You want to make it a fixed time. You can do that. You can double click on it. You can edit the time. You can have the Regular delay, default delay, everything in between. You can change a key if you want to. Uh, this is pretty standard practice for these types of keyboards and being able to do macros, but I always love the functionality and the fact that you can you can have new, delete, copy, import, export, and rename. It just makes things so much easier, especially if you have, say, for work. If you're able to install the software, you can have your password save, have a macro for it, and then boom, there's your stupidly long password that's really secure, already set. And now we have the almighty RGB. 
They have a absolute ton of them. Rippling Shining, Rotating Windmill, Stars Twinkle, all the way down to even music if you wanted to bump with that. Breathing Steady. There's a streamer mode, which is fun. Uh, but as we go down these, we'll see on the extra video here, just all the different ones. I'm not going to click them all. I'm going to click most of them just to see what they all do and what they show. You can change the color. You can change the brightness, the animation speed, uh, sleep time for it, how long until you stop typing for it to stop and go away. You can customize it, which something I'd like to note when you customize and we'll see this here in a bit, is this can be customized per key. So you can change per key what color you want it to be. So if you want to have AWS as one color, or if you want to have specific hotkeys, or you know you only use certain keys in game, but you can have only, only those highlighted. And you can, again, customize the color here. And so all, all these, you can, again, change the colors, have the primaries, secondaries in here. You can see I have red appearing. They're all white, but they're gonna have red. I can change it to green, turn it off, turn it back on, now it's green. And you can just keep doing this. The whole keyboard, if you want to. You can have every key a different color if you want. And just set those. So honestly, that is a huge thing in my book that that is a function. Uh, a lot of times you just have general RGB coloring, not her key coloring for that. So that is great. And here's some more of the lighting effects here uh, where you can then you have quick selects at the top where you have number uh, WASD uh, to where you can select all and do the thing, change the colors and click on it. Bring it back, color mixing. There's just a lot of options to, to customize this. If you really like to make sure that you have the prettiest keyboard around definitely play around with this you will be lost in here for a couple of hours don't worry it's gonna be fine but overall i think the customization settings that you get here everything across the board is just detailed all get out for the color the macros you can remap every key you have combinations you can have everything here in this keyboard, completely customized to how you like it. And for $99, it is more than what most people would spend on a keyboard, I will say that. But for the fact that it's $99 and you get custom Viridian linear switches, or you can get some tactile ones if you want the click as well. So there are two options, but it's pre-lubed, it's high quality, double shot, keycaps, and everything is customizable with the volume rocker, dedicated mute button, and the fact that it's a 96, you get you get the number pad. I've been using a 60% for the longest time, and you know what? It sucks when you don't have the number pad. Uh, it's, it's really helpful if you're one of those people. Now, if you don't use the number pad, you don't care for it, it's probably something you should learn. Uh, you get used to it, so it's really great. You'd love it. Uh, but overall, definitely check it out. Link will be down in the description. Don't forget to drop a like and Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want more keyboards, more tech in general. I got plenty more on the way. Uh, we've got some microphones in the mix uh, coming as well. So do stay tuned. That's coming up here very soon. And make sure that you guys are sticking around. And if you have any questions about anything or you have any comments, concerns, anything at all, drop them in the comments down below. And I'll be happy to answer and get to you as quick as possible. So guys, appreciate you hanging out with me. It's been absolutely fantastic to get a, take a look at the RK96. Again, link will be down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and grab it from the RK Gaming Store. Or I will also add the regular link to the RK96. If you don't want all the extra fills and fluffs and lube and everything, I would recommend. Uh, then I'll have a link to Amazon as well for the regular version if you guys want to have that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. And until next time, guys, I will see you guys then.